Hey guys, John Price here with ECD Automotive Design in Kissimmee, Florida. Uh, today we're actually going to talk about our top 12 trucks uh, for 2022. In fact, we produced a calendar you can see out here uh, where it shows and showcases, of course, um, each one of the trucks that we've done in every month. And today we're going to talk to you about some of the highlights, of course, of this super interesting and uh, amazing trucks that uh, came out of ECD. Now, in the cover here, you're going to see um, almost two twins uh, D90s in here. Um, there were two uh, friends, really good friends, that decided to embark on a project at the same time. And pretty much, they both like the same style of Defender 90 soft top. Um, there's some minor differences between the two, um, like the uh, uh, bumper and the winch, uh, the steering, steering wheel, and uh, little accents here and there. But um, at first sight, of course, they're going to be very similar. And really, that's what they intended to do. They, they didn't want to outstage uh, one another, so they figured they'll do a very similar build in this case. Uh, now, for the month of January, we have an amazing truck, Project Mr. O probably one of the most intricate designs we've ever built to date. Uh, this is a Defender 90, which has been um, uh, described as a pure gentleman's Defender. Uh, reason being the amount of um, detail, uh, the mix between the wood, leather, tartan material that we use on this car, uh, it's just something that um, we've never done before and, and truly feels like a piece of art. Uh, so enjoy the picture, of course, and the images of Mr. O for the month of January. For the month of February, we have Project Moto. Now, Project Moto is a very aggressive looking Defender 110, painted in eggshell black. You can see 20 inch wheels also in satin black, uh, a gutter mounted um, roof rack. And I guess the intent was to keep it very stealthy looking, uh, perhaps a little bit more on the modern side of the signs but again, making an, uh, a true statement. Um, and um, the, the end result is phenomenal, of course, as you see. Now for the month of March, we have Project Overload, one of my favorites of all time. Truly, it's a series three from 1972 that we redid completely from the frame off. Um, and of course, the car looks very unique. It has um, all the characteristics from uh, vehicles of that time. But of course, it has an LS3 with a six-speed Magnum transmission, which is an absolute blast to drive. So uh, pretty much a sleeper here, because uh, it really doesn't look like it can go fast, but get it on the highway and you'll be surprised. Now for the month of April, we have a stunning looking Defender 110 soft top, which is Project Hutton. Now on Project Hutton, we did a full white interior uh, with yellow accents, like seat belts, uh, to match the bright calipers uh, and of course a variety of very unique uh, and intricate pieces throughout the cabin to make it stand out. And as you can see, of course, it just pops right on the page. It is absolutely a, a gorgeous looking Defender 110. Now for the month of May, we have also one of my all time favorites, uh, Project Santa Cruz. This is a Defender 110, which is designed to emulate a serious truck. It's got a two-tone white and, and grassmere green color scheme. Uh, wolf wheels painted in body color green. Um, and uh, also a large safari style gutter mounted roof rack with some hella lights, of course, that will really pop in the front of the vehicle. Uh, inside, it has this brownish red uh, leather that looks like a baseball glove. Uh, and um, it, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I think that all the details that went inside and out of the vehicle made made it blend extremely well and uh, we know that the owner is very happy with it. For the month of June we have Project Safari. Now Safari is a 110 crew cab with wide body kit, front roll cage and also a bison roll cage in the back. So instead of having anything on the top of the roof we lift everything to the front and rear. The client actually wanted to have a little bit better clearance on that, so that's the reason why he just decided to do it that way. But the end result was absolutely beautiful. If you look at the um, eggshell color paint, uh, the nudge bar in the front, the silver painted 
um, the steering guard in the bottom up there, uh, and the distressed interior is just absolutely stunning. So it's a combination of old school interior and uh, pretty fresh modern exterior, uh, which is the blend that the client was looking to achieve on this. And I think he did a great job. Now for the month of July, we have Project Gnaw. Now Project Gnaw is probably the boldest uh, Defender we've built to date, period. It's painted in Lamborghini Verde Mantis uh, paint, finished in satin and uh, white interior. It's got this Recaro Sportster seats with their backs uh, painted in satin black. And it just, it looks like a Lamborghini blended with a Defender. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and uh, for someone looking to make that wow factor and uh, simply make a bold statement or whatever he or she goes, this is the type of truck we can build. Now, in August, we've chosen Project Amalfi, a Range Rover classic uh, that, can, that brings out some of the classic elements in terms of the color, like a Lincoln green from the 1970s, a brown interior with um, square stitching pattern, and uh, some modern, modern um, con 18 inch uh, raw style wheels that have some of that retro vibe, but of course they're wider and with the lower profile tires make the car just perform incredibly well. Now for September, we have Project Sunrise. Now Project Sunrise is an electric Defender 110. Um, the client wanted to keep some of the classic elements inside the car. So you have the Puma style uh, seats that you will find on um, uh, more traditional Defenders, uh, but also wanted to add some modern elements like the con wheels, full external roll cage, and uh, of course the fact that it's an electric powertrain. Now, for the month of October, we have Project Night Prowler as our favorite one. This is a very aggressive, bold-looking Defender 110. White body, x lander grille, sawtooth wheels, all painted in um, black satin finish. And uh, the, all, the end result is just absolutely amazing. The truck looks great inside out. Now, for November, we've chosen Project Top Hat. Top Hat is painted in constant green, very traditional with white roof. Um, also has a distressed brown interior leather and black accents. Now, the car, you may say, is a perfect blend from old school and modern conveniences. So it does look, of course, a little bit fresher with a Puma dash and um, some of the elements that we have throughout the cabin, but the exterior is very much a rugged Defender all in all. Now, lastly, for December, we've chosen Project TNT. Now, this is not only a stunning looking Defender 110, uh, but also one of the most powerful ones we built to date. It's equipped with an LT4 GM V8 engine, 650 horsepower, made it to an eight-speed transmission. Now, this car can propel zero to 60 in under five seconds, which is amazing. Talking about a Defender that uh, couldn't do that at all back in the day. Now, 2022 was a very exciting year here at ECD. Uh, we have new product launches and uh, was we built some of the most unique and incredible cars that we've done in, in a decade. Uh, so we really are excited and looking forward to what's coming up in 23. And I hope you can be also a part of uh, our journey.